Good morning, everybody. And as you can see from this video, it has been a hive of busy bees here at the Buffalo Niagara Convention Center. This is how it looks to get ready for a show like this. Two full floors of every kind of vehicle you can imagine. And let me tell you, the undertaking and the production of getting all these cars in here while giving you enough room to get around so you can kick the tires and take a good look is just amazing. So these folks do just such a great job and there are over 200 vehicles here for you to come and see and so much more. Now today we're gonna get a little help from our Eyewitness News guys. We have got Ed Riley who's gonna be here letting us know what is new for the whole family at the show. And our buddy Mike Randall is our electric guy this hour. He's gonna be showing us what's new in electric vehicles. So that's gonna be fun. Also on today's show, we're going to tell you how you can win a car by coming to the show. There's a few ways to do it. Paul Stasiak will tell us more about that. And we're going to meet the guys and the women who put these cars together here in Western New York. And let me tell you, weather or no weather, they're all here today. So obviously they're putting together great cars because the snow didn't, uh, didn't uh, let them uh, uh, get here late. They're here. Speaking of snow, Aaron Minkowski can't say the same for a lot of people around Western New York. The snow has been a little tough this morning. That's Maybe right. you can give us a full forecast and let us know what we can expect. That's right, Linda. We had the ice overnight and then the snow on top of that ice and the snow continues to come down. And as the day moves along, the winds are really going to kick up so that blowing snow will be an issue across the area. You can see the snow here in Western New York, light to moderate snow, Niagara Falls, Buffalo, Springville, Dunkirk toward Olean and Wellsville. We zoom out and you see another batch of snow across southern Ontario that'll be rolling through West New York, so the snow will be filling in throughout the morning hours. So we're going to keep this light to moderate snow in the forecast through this afternoon. We do have a number of advisories and warnings in place. A winter storm warning in effect for Orleans County through 6 a.m. on Saturday. You have the winter weather advisories in effect for the rest of western New York. Look at how cold it looks outside. Brr, 25 degrees. Winds out of the north northwest at 12 miles per hour. So it's 25 when it feels like it's 14 outside. Here's the hour by hour forecast showing the snow with us uh, right through dinner time so the afternoon commute will be a slow one as well especially with the blowing snow and then tonight we're going to see some lake effect snow develop off of Lake Erie and can't rule out a few flakes off of Lake Ontario as well partly sunny skies as we head towards Saturday afternoon so our snow totals are concerned this is on top of what we already have on the ground about two to four inches in Buffalo four to seven as you go to the northeast of Buffalo three to six from Batavia towards Springville and Ellicottville four to seven along the Chautauqua Ridge noticeably higher amounts as we head toward Rochester and Syracuse. Do want to show you this picture right here. This is the 90 at William. You can see the snow coming down and uh, travel really all over the area today will be slow. So snow today and blowing snow temperatures in the low to mid 20s winds out of the north northwest at 10 to 20 miles per hour with some higher gusts and then tomorrow you'll find temperatures in the low 20s a few morning flurries. We're back in the 30s for Sunday and we hold in the upper 30s for Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. So Linda, bottom line, if you're going to be out and about today, yeah, just add some extra time to uh, get to your destination because that snow is coming down. All right, Aaron, but here's the most important thing I could ask you this morning. You miss me in the studio? <laughs> I'll be back on Monday. <laughs> All right, now listen, we're here at the 2020 Buffalo Auto Show, and I have to tell you, so many people are just leaving this going, wow, there was so much to see, and the vehicles change so much from year to year. But did you know that in 10 years, we will have approximately 125 million electric vehicles on the road. That's a lot. That means in 10 years, that's what you and I will most likely be driving. So we asked our own Renaissance man, Mike Randall, to take a look into the future. At this year's auto show, say hello to the future. We're all gonna be moving into the new frontier of electric cars. Steve Holtz heads up LED energy solutions. Steve says it won't be long before gasoline goes the way of fluorescent lighting. Gasoline in the future will at some point be in that same realm that we won't be able to get it anymore. Steve is part of the auto show's first ever energy zone, a place to get information about and get up close and personal with electric cars, which Steve says will make a big difference in the world. Just protecting our planet is, is, uh, is important. It may not have seemed reachable in the past, but now with the technologies that are available, it's in with, within reach. A number of automakers are showcasing their all electric rides, including Ford, Audi, Chevy, Hyundai, take a look at the all-electric Porsche. You won't find a gas tank on one of these beauties, just a place to plug in. So it looks like a gas pump, but it's not. So instead of saying fill it up, you're gonna have to say charge it up. 
The goal is to have 200 charging stations like this one across New York State by the end of 2020, according to the New York Power Authority's Rebecca Hughes. And our ultimate goal is to make EVs or electric vehicles the easy choice for consumers. So we're starting to dispel some of that range anxiety and build up consumer confidence that they can get from point A to point B with confidence. Outside, they look like the cars you already know and love. Under the hood... Not so much, but they say these electric numbers will be quiet, fun, and fuel efficient, and the cost to charge up. And we're always aiming to price for gas parity. So what you would pay for a full tank or a full battery charge is very much akin to what you would pay for a full tank of gas. At this year's auto show, you can enjoy the sparkling new offerings for 2020 and get acquainted with the future. Mike Randall, 7 Eyewitness News. You're the best, Mike. And you know, it's so interesting because so many makes are already making electric cars and we have a lot of them here so you can ask your questions. NFADA President Paul Stasiak is back. Paul, the electric zone is, is here just for that reason so people can ask their questions and, and really see that these are, these may be the cars of the future, but they're also the cars of today. Well, no, no question. People come and see the cars and can fantasize a little bit, but now it's the education that comes with it. Right. And that's what all shows about. It's about educating about mm -hmm. models, makes, equipment. And the energy zone is just a perfect fit for it. Yeah. Where's the energy zone when you come in? In room 106. You come in, go to the left, go down the stairs, and you can't miss it. Main floor. Yes. All right. Listen, how did it go last night? Heels and wheels, I understand, was a, a big success. Oh, Linda. You know, even in spite of the weather, we had a lot of people come out. It's it was of the, fun it's the to girls. see. It was. And ladies <laughs> came in twos and fours and sixes. They got their roses, their wine, their champagne, some uh, bade, braid babes. Love it was it. a hit of the show. Love it. They had a line to get braids at an auto show. Even massaging. I love uh, that. I was talking to Betty Murphy. Mur uh, Murphy, she's hoping we do this again as a regular. We will, Linda. Yeah, I we hope will. so. That'd be great. Listen, so many events to come tonight and this weekend. Tonight's entertainment. Yeah, we're Ship pretty excited. featuring Fortnite, right? Esports has made it to the auto show. Love it. I don't know anything about this subculture, but we've got the number one wins player, Ship. He's a Hamburg native. He's local. People don't realize that. Love that. So we found it, and he's going to come in, and people have a chance to win the play on stage with Chip. We'll stream nationally, wow. internationally. That's awesome. From 6 to 9. All right, Paul. And uh, our Ed Riley has more information coming up about the family-friendly nature of this show, and we'll have that coming up. And don't forget, if you're coming today or the weekend, valet parking, always possible. Doors open today at 11 o'clock, and we'll have more from the Buffalo Auto Show, so stay right there.